Hello, it's Sarah. I'm making, uh, I'm going to make one of those face pots again. So I have been gathering supplies and figuring out my face. And I, I just went to the thrift store and I got some pink stuff. So here's my pink. This was mugs. I think it was a mug. A um, couple of different types of, and it's really thick. That's the other thing I'm finding. Like you can find much thinner types of uh, china and different things. So, you know, I don't know. Some of it's really cheap and it breaks really easily and some super hard. So there's definitely a difference out there. This is a this is kind of a, a good thickness, but the thick stuff is kind of crazy. Um, I was thinking I was going to use this, which is... I got this the first time I went. This is a Yankee candle like um, candle holder thing, but of course it's pink and it has, so I figure this might get used up around the rim of the pot. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but you know, we'll have to see. And just FYI, I got this, which I can't really show you because it has coffee in it, but this is like a, I just like the colors. So it has this bright green and pink and there's blue. Um, so, and I think it's French. I think it says Tissane. I don't know what that means, and I didn't Google it yet. But anyway, I'm going to put the lid on it. Let me get a sip. Mmm. Because when I'm breaking glass, the glass goes flying, and it just worked out. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. So let me show you what I'm kind of thinking I'm going with today. I've been watching a lot of videos, trying to find videos about it. Pinterest and... Instagram now I'm finding there's a woman named uh, Solange Piffer I think her name is anyway um, she has a YouTube channel but she doesn't have very many videos at all so um, I'm just kind of winging it but I'm looking at her designs and I'm seeing things that I can try so I broke my nose but we'll just give her a nose job and we'll put that on. But what I did this time, this was the first one and I lost, I had the little piece that went here, but I don't know where it is. It's in the mess, but it would still work like that. Um, I cut all around this one, but this one I decided to leave because I saw on one of her pieces to leave the nostrils, like the little side nostrils. So for this one, I could just add around like one of my um, button shape glass tiles that I had in my stash and put those there and you could get that little nostril on the side of the nose look right I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit I don't want to go too. I'm gonna zoom back out because you know what I'm gonna I'll come out of the shot and it drives me crazy so anyway I think I'm gonna save this one for next time um, but this one when I cut this out of the mug I actually cut and try to leave a little bit of a nostril shape there. You could cut it more triangular so that you have the dimension of the nose on the outside. This is the mug. It can be an ear this way or a nose that way. So I kind of left the nostrils on there as best I could. So that's what I've been doing yesterday and today, kind of playing around with um, human features <laughs> made with pieces of china and glass. So. Here's what I've come up with for my girl so far. So I had, um, I got a little bit of instruction from Jeannie Bell, who I took a, um, I made my um, wizard with. And there is a video of him on my channel. If you go back, I shared them. And she has like little bags under the eyes and stuff. So now I'm playing around and looking at um, more pictures of things. Anyway this is what I've come up with. It's not done perfect yet. So this is my nose and I did leave the little um, nostrils there. These are kind of like eye bottom eyelids or they're kind of like eye bags but it just gives the proportion. It makes the thing kind of come to life. This time I cut my eyeballs like the whites of the eyes out of a white cup. It wasn't this one but you get the kind of curved eyeball, right? And I'm, I'm debating if I'm going to cut this in half and put my eyeball inside of this 
or if I'm just going to glue it on top. So there's a couple decisions I need to make and they're approximately the same size. Um, when I glue it to the piece, which is so stinky, I, st I sealed my terracotta pot. This is probably, this is like a seven or eight inch pot. This is probably an eight inch pot. I think it's the same size as my wizard. All right, so this is my eyeballs because last time I used stained glass. The other thing I did differently was I had these red and I, I used them both. They're in the thing. But it's just a piece that was like this, basically. These are two different ones, but it, it's kind of like a an oval shaped thing. So I just cut it and tried to make it look like lips. So this is going to be my lips. It's more dimensional. They're bigger, like they stick out. So the face will be lower and the lips will kind of stick out and then this is what I'm going to use for a chin I think it's just like a piece of um, it was a handle I think this was like a little basket um, that I broke apart and it just had it has like a cross hatching to it it had some texture and some I don't know it was a dollar you know whatever so I'm gonna put a chin and I don't know I've been going back and forth with like different ideas for a chin because there's little pieces of the bottom of a mug or something that you could use that has a little more of like, I didn't cut this one yet, but I'll show you um, if I find a piece. I'll grab a piece um, in a minute because I was going to show you, oh, like here. This one, they have like the bottom of a plate. It has that little ridge thing. So you could kind of make the chin stick out a little bit or kind of even if I did it like this just a round circle that came up and I'm using the back of it it looks chinny you know anyway there's there's a couple ideas that I have for the chin I haven't fully decided I think I might just go with this it doesn't look I, I might make it into a little more circular anyway these were a little plate like a small uh probably like a um Demitas tea set or a coffee set you know they're just like really little oh I actually have the handle from the cup of one of those because I'm wondering if it'll be look at this look how small this little teacup uh, handle is but it might be a good size nose for this oh, that's a that's the wrong way I think that's a good size nose for this pot you know so to keep it in perspective Anywho, um, I don't go crazy and I don't, I should have grabbed red. I didn't grab any red. There was a red mug there this time. I totally remember it and I didn't grab it because that would have been good for making lips, you know. So I had this red. I'm going to go with that. Save that for, but these are the sides of a little plate. It was like a six inch plate maybe. And I thought that could be good for like cheekbones. I don't know, but when you put it on the um, the pot, and this thing, it's it has an arc to it because it's a plate. So, yeah, when you use the thin set, you're you're able to get it. It's a little wonky, but it'll be fine. It'll look okay. Now the eye should be up a little higher, actually. I'm gonna put them. My eyes are kind of right right opposite your little bridge of your nose. And then here's what I'm thinking for the eyes. I have, I love that I added these on my other one up in my bedroom, the little eyelashes. This is a plate that I just put away. It's right here. Um, I think I got this at like a dollar store. Um, so I just cut this plate, cut along the edges, and I have a lot of ways I could go. Um, I liked, at first I was thinking using the edge because I like that black line, but it curves opposite than eyelashes would if you go this way. So you kind of have to go this way and I could do that. I'm still debating, but like I said, this part of the, of the plate was where that little um, lip of it was. And it kind of, if I glue it, it could stick up, like actually have the eyelashes stick up. I'm still deciding. This is nothing in stone yet. 
I'm going to cut this one up like that to match. But then I also was debating about these, like, putting just eyelids on it. And they would look like kind of like blue eyeshadow. I had these blue, purple, pretty, like, iridescent, and I was going to use these for eyes. They're not going to stay right now. Like, it's all going to fall apart. But I think she's going to have blue eyes. And then I have these for eyebrows. This was like... I think this was the bottom rim of that basket that I cut apart and I think they make kind of cool looking eyebrows and that's really all I have I had these mugs the one the one that I cut apart this had butterflies on it so I just cut the butterflies off of it and uh, see it had blue along the top or bottom up along the top I think that was the top of the cup and then there were butterflies on the bottom so I cut them out and who knows what will happen um, I'm not, like I say I'm not really committed with this chin but I know I want something to do with the chin I was even thinking I could put a butterfly for the chin because that's like the perfect shape all I need to do is grab um, a mug like maybe I'll make it with this mug I'm going to show you something um, gonna I was debating using these for eyebrows this is what I used for eyebrows of my girl upstairs Rosie we named her and um, but I do like these eyebrows because they're textural and they, they ha they're the pink color I don't know I wish they were black but they're not and I like them um, but this I was debating I kind of liked these for ears these are just tiny little this is what the mugs look like so this is the top of the mug this is the handle and they had all those flowers on it that I used for Rosie it's this it was this mug so I put these for her cheeks the one upstairs I mean they're it'll be decent for ears so if I go this way I think they could be fine for ears um, but I, I kind of like this one better and I had let's see I think I have one out here already where is it um, see these are too big I don't want them to be as big as the nose but I have another one of these oh it's right here okay so I have here's the other mug same mug but I like these for ears I think this could be a better proportionate wise I think that looks better so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'm going to show you how I do. And I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just going to hope for the best and just start clipping and hoping that I don't lose the handle. There we go. So now I've gotten it in half. And it, it's literally, I am not an expert at this. I am hit and miss right now. I really have no, like that's a nice eyebrow. So let's go this way and see. There we go. Look at that. It's a nice eyebrow or mustache. See, I left on the other one, I left that little black part because I was going to use it as a mustache. Like a little Hitler dude or something. But I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to use it for an ear. So now I'm just going to gently try and... I just... I mean, if it breaks, it's not the end of the world, but I'd really prefer it not to break. Like between because I can I can um, glue it together once it's um, sorry. you can see it's dirty like I didn't clean anything when I took it from the uh, I cleaned it before I put coffee in it <laughs> but see how it that's just around the bottom like around this part it's much harder to cut it gets thicker down there but now I'm just going to gently trim away as close to the middle because I can just glue this whole thing oopsie So yeah, I'm getting glass all over the place, but then 
Once I get everything kind of situated, I will clean up. I do it in like um, sessions. So like after I'm done cutting for today, I'll clean up and um, then I'll be ready to go again because I have pets and um, you know, I don't always wear shoes in here or whatever. Like I wear my Crocs usually, but um, so that's an ear. So I have that ear and see how it, it curves like that. I think I'm going to try and cut that off. So I'm going to go, yeah, it worked, but I could break it, but I'm just trying to get that little curve off a little better. And because I'm using thin set, it'll hold, but I think that's a definitely more proportionate ear than those little cheesy ears. So now I just got to cut, Oop, I broke my mustache. I have a lot of those black because I already cut up a, a couple of, I think I use these for ears in my other lady too. They're, they're just a proportionate handle. So that's what I'm looking for when I'm out there at the thrift store. Like, I have to think about, but man, I don't know why I didn't get that red mug. I so regret, like there was a lot of Christmas stuff and red mugs and um, plates and everything. And I just thought, I'm not going to, I was thinking more of the, um, like the face color. All right, but see, that's my little ears. I think they're way more proportionate. I got to cut off that little, um, there we go. I mean, it's not that important because like I said, I'm going to use thin set. So I have to decide what to do. And again, when I put it on the pot, it's going to have a curve to it, so I'll have to brace it like this. And everything's going to be on a curve anyway. So, you like, you see what I'm saying? Like, this is laying on a flat surface, but when I put it on here, it'll have some curve. And I'm just going to use lots of cement and stick it down. Um, let me go ahead and shape my cheekbones a little better. I think... I like the idea of cheekbones, but I'm not like a professional. I think I'm gonna just try and make these the same size. That's what I kind of do. And I have a magic marker so I can actually mark the piece if I wanna really get it. Um, see, I can tell that this angle is off right here. And I'm really choppy with this. Like I might need to invest in some type of sander. All right, and then I eyeball it and I'll go like from here and just kind of try and make it, there we go. And I'm hasty too, you guys. So I'm sure if someone put a little more thought into it, it would be, like this one just broke like this when I was cutting the plate. So I didn't have to adjust it, but it just turned out that I liked the shape of it. Now, should I put the pointy parts up there? And then I could curve this too. Um, but let's try it on the other side. I like, I flip them around and I like these, I've changed these a couple times. Like this is much thicker here it looks like, but I don't wanna keep messing with it. I think they'll be fine. Um, now do I like it with, the ears are gonna be all around the side. So they're not really, you know, do I like this pointing like that, or do I like it, I kind of think I like it like this for some reason, no. So this is this is the stuff I'm going to have to figure out, but this is the first time I actually cut pieces before I had my thin set, because um, you have a little bit of time when you mix the thin set, it's like a concrete and you put it in a bag, and it stays wet in the bag pretty long. So. But I just wanted to have some stuff ready to go before I started gluing. So I'll save these little ears. Maybe they would look okay on here. He would have big ears. I kind of think they would look good on this size pot for an ear. I mean, they're big. But um, I don't know. I'm not going to use them right now. Um, yeah, so see, these are the other. That's a big nose, too. I could use this nose. <gasps> OMG, I kind of like that. I was thinking of using the pink because 
I don't know, but I think I'm going to fill in the face with the pink, but I kind of like that as the nose. And then with the, I was just thinking like blue eyeshadow, but I really wanted to use eyelashes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, you guys. Um, I might be cutting this and making it a little different. I think I'm going to cut this. Like, what if I went like this? <clears throat> Don't you think that would look good? Ooh, I kind of even like it better at this angle. I mean, I guess it's the same difference. But it's flat there. I don't know what I'm... Yeah. So this piece being down here instead of being up here, I kind of think I like that better. So that would mean I'm going to... Let me just do one first. I'm cutting it. And then just gently, because this is a really thin china. This is actually Lennox. My mom used to make, uh, you collect Lennox china. Um, but it was at the thrift store and I thought it was cute. So I think that's a good cheekbone. I like it. All right, so I'll kind of measure this way and I'll just cut here and that's how I'm doing it you guys look I don't know that's why I love taking a class because when you take a class somebody's done it before and they've played around and they know you know why they're doing what they're doing I'm not I have no idea why I'm doing what I'm doing but I do like this black line here I like that better these might be a little big too. I'm just gonna try and trim it down a little bit more. And I might be cutting these in half. That looks more proportionate. All right, so I feel like I have something to work with. I'm going to go away, and I have to really decide. Because here's the other thing I could do with the eye eyelashes. I was really liking this because the way it sat, because it's on the lip of the back of the plate. Like, the way it sits, it kind of looks, it sits up like this. See? But, that means that I have to... I would have to try and fit, I could do it, like I could cut, I have more of this lip. I think I'm going to cut straight along here. See how nice this cuts, it's such thin china. And then I can cut it, I think I'm going to make an eyelid that like wraps around the eye and put the lashes on top of it. But I can also use this. So I think if I just, um, I have two pieces with the bottom on it, and then I have plenty of other pieces that I could, see I have plenty of eyebrow left from that. And this could be a good chin, but maybe I'll make a pink chin. I have to find a piece of pink and make, it's going, oh, but see, hold on. I think I could go like this and make a chin. So I want it to kind of be the same color as this. This is such a little chin. But it could be a chin. Like if I go like this. I just want to see. And this stuff cuts terrible. You'll see. Oh, oh it cut pretty good. 
it's just thicker. It's crumbly. It's crumblier. And I gotta kind of try and fix these edges. They're so jagged. I might just use that for my chin. That kind of looks like a chin. I have. I don't think I like this for a chin anymore. I'm changing my mind. And then let me just show you what I would do with these. Um, I'm going to try. Uh, didn't work. But I think I can, if I cut these into pieces that are smaller, I can arrange them around the eye instead of... Um, So I'm gonna, I could put them like right on top of the eyelid. Let's see. See, it's really hard to know what it's gonna do until I get it on the piece, but I think I would attempt to put the eyelashes, and see, this is where I'm kind of confused. Like, would an eyelid, because the eyelashes would come from this side of the eyelid. They wouldn't come from that side. So that's why I'm thinking, the eyelashes have to be first and it doesn't feel right you know it's so confusing and I'm just like getting frustrated by it so I'm almost kind of quitting I don't really know if I need the eyelashes but if I put the eyelashes first and then put the eyelid does that make sense I, I can't I can't figure it out it's killing me it's killing me I'll tell you and then I think I screwed this eyelid up now because I have to cut it because I think I need it to be as big as the other one, which I don't know where I put. Uh, here? No. Where is it? I don't know where my other eyelid is. I cut, I cut this one, but I don't think I cut the other one. I just can't find it. This is too small. But I, it could be just like that. See how it sits like that? I think that might be good. I don't know, man. I might need to make this the same because it's going to sit. Oops, that's my eyeball. I don't think this is going to sit right. But that looks lidier. Eyelidier when you go like that. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Next video, I'm going to come back and I am going to share how I'm going to glue this onto the pot. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.